The Bible said, what does it profit a man or woman to gain the whole world and lose their soul? Or give an exchange for their soul. One of the reasons I'm making this message today is to tell people it profit nothing. What does it profit? And I'm not being nasty, my friend, but I'm trying to nail a point to you. What does it profit to have all the penis in the world? To have all the vagina in the world? What does it profit? What does it profit you drinking, getting drunk every Saturday? Or every Friday or every birthday, what does it profit? It profit nothing. Because when they're all said and done, the Bible says, labor not for the meat that perish, but labor for the meat that endure to everlasting life. What does it profit you, my friend? Of all of making six digit, and then when you die, you go straight to hell. And a poor man, hey glory to God have nothing and when he die he go to heaven what i'm trying to say to you is watching this video i'm not trying to bore you i'm trying to tell you what does it profit a man or woman to gain all the riches him and that gain all the sex to smoke all the weed to have all the hangover what does it profit it profit you nothing because you don't get no reward. Amen. The only reward you get is death. Because the Bible say, let not the man say when he is tempted of God, he tempted, you are tempted of God. God doesn't tempt, tempt man with evil. You are tempted because you're drawn away from your own lust. When lust finishes, it brings forth sin. Do not err, my beloved brother. So sin, have a baby. And the baby is death. Don't think, listen, don't think you're going to escape. The only escape you have is to give Jesus Christ your life. Is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. There are many people, amen, that look at my video almost every day. You look at my video and you're still doing the same thing. What does it profit you? Because you're not going to heaven because you listen. You're going to heaven because you repented of your sin. But the Bible says, Acts 2.38, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So, if you want to escape the wrath of God, if you want to escape, hey, glory to God, what can happen in Revelation, the 6th chapter, 7th chapter, 8th chapter, ninth chapter, you got to give your life to Jesus Christ. Because if you get left behind, then another choice. Then there's another chance of you accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The only people that gonna gonna be able to have a second chance is the Jews or those that have not heard the gospel. But you have you you have opportunity of hearing the gospel now and you're still playing around in sin. You're still playing around in sex. You're still playing around with Satan. And you're still playing around with secularism, which is the world. What does it profit? Can we talk? Come on now. All your life, you have heard about God. And all your life, you procrastinate. You say, I'm gonna get, one day, I'm going to give my life to Jesus Christ. Then the opportunity came, and you procrastinate. You went to so many funerals. So many people have died because the Bible says it's appointed man who wants to die than the judgment. It's appointment you can't change. <laughs> Glory to God. It's appointment you can't cancel. It's appointment, whether you like it or not, you're going to die one day. I don't care. All the surgery you have on your buttocks, on your breast, come on now, on your cheek. Listen, one day we're going to die. And you can't, I don't care. If you are beautiful, if you are handsome, if you are sexy, if you just got a BLL, my friend, what does it profit you having a big butt? And when you die, you're going straight to hell. What does it profit you having a silicone breast? You got a breast surgery. And you die, you go straight to hell. What does it profit you? So I'm making this video to tell you, be profitable 
in this life. Don't take life for granted because tomorrow is not promised. Today is, today the Bible says, today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Today is the day of salvation. Don't let this Negro, don't let this man, amen, you in love with him so much, you ain't gonna spend no time with God. How you spend time with God? I'm so glad you're at. You spend time with God by praying to God. Say, Father, I thank you for the opportunity of me seeing another day. Father, forgive my sins. Father, I'm a sinner. Save me right now. That's a prayer. Amen. And when you pray that prayer, you want to get into the GPS, GPS, which is God personal scripture. So I'm making a video because I'm I'm in, I'm interested in you. I'm interested in you. One day God say, "Well done, my good and faithful servant. Been faithful a few things. Enter into the joy of the Lord." I don't want. I listen. I don't want him to say, "Well, damn." And the reason he's gonna say, "Well, damn," because you are damn. Yes, you going you gonna receive eternal damnation. Don't think because you you give money to Salvation Army. Don't think because you give money to to to, to charity. No, my friend, it's not according to work of any man should boast. It's the grace of God. God wants you to give your life to Him right now. Don't wait for tomorrow. You might not have an opportunity to view my video one more chance or one more time. But today is the day of salvation. The day is the day where you say, Lord, I'm tired of sin. Lord, I'm tired of living for Satan. Lord, I'm tired of having sex with so many men that don't love me. I'm tired of watching pornography and it don't profit me nothing. I'm tired of having fantasy sex and it don't profit me nothing. I'm tired of having prostitutes come home and I'm having sex with them and they leave and I feel see, I still feel the same. I'm tired. If you are tired, I want you to say this prayer before glory to God the clock uh, struck 12 or 10. Hey, glory to God. That's all I have. I have 10 minutes on this video to convince you it's time to give God time. It's time to give God truth. Uh, glory to God. The Bible says, I am the way, the truth, and life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So if you're watching this video, it's not by coincidence. I'm telling you, what is a prophet you have in all the poom poom? In Jamaica, we, we call that sex. We call that having sex with, 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 a, with a woman. You mean, what a prophet you have all the body in the world and lose your soul. It profits you nothing. Come on now. I used to work in this building. Can we talk? I used to work in this building called the, the Sex Salaire. I call it Sex Salaire. And I was in, the, in that building for at least one year. And believe my friend, I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I thank God for the Holy Ghost that, that didn't let me sleep with none of those Nigerian women that was there. Now, I'm going to tell you, be honest with you, I'm a man. They fine, but I thank God I give God time so I won't yield to temptation. Yield not to temptation, but deliver from for evil, for that in the kingdom and the power and the glory. I thank God. God, what, is, what does it profit me, my friend? I was having all the sex every night when I was working there. Amen. What does it profit? It profit me nothing because I'm not going to get no trophy. I'm not going to get no reward. The only reward I'm going to get, my friend, I'm going to lose my crown. I might lose my salvation, but I'm going to lose my crown. I'm going to lose, glory to God, my crown of, of, being, of being a steward for God. So I'm making a video to tell you, if you are a sinner, I'd like to pray this prayer with you. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, this person that's watching this video, oh God, let them confess in their mouth and believe in their heart that God has raised from thee, thou shalt be saved. Tell them that it profit nothing to have all the sex in the world, profit of all the liquor in the world, profit all of the weed in the world, it profit nothing. Give them the opportunity to be saved right now. Save them right now. In Jesus' name I pray, oh God, bless them right now to come to